in uh, Peter's discourse concerning the scoffers of the last days, those who would deny the Lord and say, well, he's not coming back. It's been too long. Too much history has gone by. It's, it's not reality. And uh, Peter goes into a discourse, and he's talking about this, the whole realm of creation and uh, how there are many who don't believe in the creation of Genesis and how that God created the heavens and the earth. But he talks about something here that, uh, well, it's, it's a little difficult to even understand. He talks about a time when even in the creation, things were disrupted and things were changed. And you say, well, what happened here? Well, we know according to Scripture that Lucifer, who was one of the three archangels, uh, fell from grace. And uh, God cast him down along with a third of the hosts of heaven. We know this. It's very clear because it's throughout the scriptures. It's declared to us exactly when and how this took place. We, we're not clear. There are theories out there. and uh, But the truth of the matter is, is that God did create. And God is in the uh, uh, part of his plan and understanding that He's given us an entire textbook on the subject of the redemption of man. And he talks about from Genesis to Revelation. This is the whole theme of the Bible is the redemption of man, how man will be redeemed and allowed to live in God's eternal kingdom that we call heaven. And I uh, don't mean to overcomplicate things, but there are many who lack understanding. And of course, uh, Peter uses the word ignorant, just simply means they're just uninformed. And because they're uninformed, sometimes people know just enough to be dangerous. And as a result of that, people have walked away from the faith, and Peter refers to them as being scoffers. They're just saying that none of this is true. And uh, I've had conversations with people before who are, uh, they would describe themselves as being very, very learned. And uh, they know a lot. And uh, talk about being scoffers. They look down their noses at this old country preacher and say, well, you don't know what in the world you're talking about. Well, the truth of the matter is, is that I have the same ability to have knowledge as anybody else, and that's just the Bible. And I make it my business to read the Bible and read it every day and make it a part of my life and of my living so that I can understand God, God's kingdom, and the future because I am very, very concerned about my future. And I'm not just talking about the years that I have remaining here on this earth because that's very short, but I am deeply concerned about my future as it cross over from this world in which I am currently living to that place to where I'm forever with God. And not only am I concerned about me, I'm concerned about my wife, my children, my grandchildren, my beloved congregation at Freedom Road Church, and my wonderful radio audience all across the world. God gives me the ability to speak to people. And I'm just simply telling you, Get your heart right with God because when God says he's going to return to this earth, I'm telling you, you better be ready. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.